This is a website that I vibe coded for my fiance for her date business and it works. You can go DM her on Instagram if you wanna buy Nama's artisanal dates called Tamar's. They're excellent. I think it goes without saying, if you run a business in 2026, it's a really good idea to have a website and also to have a product. And while Nama has a great product, the dates, Nama did not have a website. And the point of me making this video is to inspire you by showing you how easy it is to go from start to finish. I did this. I bought the domain and had the website up and running, tomarsdates.com in one hour. Now, if you're a web developer or a software engineer, that's not impressive at all. But if you're like me, a creative, mostly non-technical person, this video is for you. The point of this video is to inspire at least one of you to go and try to build something. And I'm not talking about using AI Studio to build something. Personally, I've used that to make a sticker picker for timelines. But using just Gemini, I paid the $20 a month for it. I gave it a simple prompt and it walked me through step by step how to build this website. It started like this. At 8.14 p.m., I said to Gemini, just bought a domain for my fiance in my Squarespace account. Can we quickly vibe code her a website? And Gemini gave me two suggestions, this true vibe coding route, or Gemini said it can give me a single HTML file and just vibe code it for me right there and then. And it asked me some details. This is one of the things I really like about Gemini. It's really good at like encouraging you and handholding you in a very simplified step-by-step -step process. So Gemini asked, would you like me to generate the code for a landing page? If so, just tell me what she does and what vibe she likes. Okay. So this is where I guess uh, Sam Sheffer tip and trick can come in. I think you should be as kind of uh, straightforward. You can be verbose. You can be detail oriented. Like all the ideas in your head of the things that you want to build to appear on the website, let's say, uh, give it to Gemini, be explicit in your details. So I said, yeah, I want a simple landing page. I'll give you a lead image. It's an artisanal date image. I think I meant to say it's an artisanal date business. We basically want to funnel inquiries to Instagram where Nama, my fiance, can facilitate the orders themselves. Super duper simple and modern. One sec, I'll give you the image. Great. So Gemini then gave me the full output, the HTML, which is basically the whole website. And then it suggested I use something called Netlify Drop. I didn't know what that was, but Gemini had a really good reason for me to be using that because it's a website that allows me to drag and drop the website along with the image inside of a folder and kind of like stage it so I could see if it looks good in real time. So that's what I did, but I was a bit confused with what I should call the text file and the structure of the folder, the naming, et cetera. And one of the great things about Gemini is you can give it screenshots. So I'm sitting there screenshotting this. Did I do this right? What should this be called? And step by step, Gemini was able to basically walk me through this entire thing. So after roughly 30 minutes of back and forth, I said, okay, this is awesome. How do I get to marsdates.com to point at this or however it works? And again, after some screenshotting back and forth, like this, like this, is this the right way, et cetera. Another thing too, I don't really know the ins and outs of DNS routing, but I was just able to go into Squarespace, again, the service that I use to buy tomarsdates.com, and Gemini walked me through what to do with the DNS routing, so I was able to successfully uh, connect the two, Squarespace and Net Netlify. Net 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 Netlify. And then boom, at 8.55 p.m., roughly 40 minutes later, I said, it works. I think the thesis of this video was to demonstrate just how easy it is now with the help of large language models like Gemini, where I know my way around technology, but I'm not an expert software developer by any stretch of the imagination. But from scratch, I just told Gemini what I wanted. This era that we're in of, you know, people like me, creatives, we're able to uh, take our creativity and 
uh, you know, deploy it in a sense. Again, before <laughs> before I started that Gemini chat, there was no tomorrowsdates.com, and now there is. It's never been more accessible to build something on the internet. It just felt so cool. Like, I, I wanna pass that magic on to you. It, it felt so cool to be able to tell Nama, go to tomorrowsdates.com on your phone, and then she sees her website, it was just, it, it was a really special thing because I did that with the help of Gemini. And like, I didn't have to call anyone for help. Gemini as a model, it's understanding of, you know, processes and then me just like arbitrarily giving it screenshots and it reads the screenshots. It has good OCR, optical character recognition. Like it's, it's so good. So I think, yeah, if, if you watch this video, uh, you should just try and 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 go to Gemini and just say, hey, I want to build this or I want to do this. Or if you really want to take a leap, go to AI Studio and do it there. And I'll leave you with this. It sounds crazy because it is, but it's true. This is the worst all of this stuff will ever be. So if I'm telling you in January of 2026 how good it is now, how good is it going to be in six months from now or in a year from now? You know? So yeah, that's it. Get out there, go vibe code something and have fun while doing it.